How's it going everybody? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to obtain the Divine Crusader armor set in Skyrim. Now if you guys find these videos useful, please do remember to leave a like, and leave a comment letting me know any Skyrim content you would like me to make a video covering. Anyway, now that's done, let's get into the video, and let me show you how to obtain this Divine Crusader armor set. So as you can see here, the description reads, Now you too can wield the powerful equipment of the Divine Crusader, Pelon or White Strike. Once reserved only for the revered Knights of the Nine, the armor can be found by exploring the Four Skull Lookout, far east-northeast of Markarth. So what you're going to want to do is just open your map and head all the way over to the west side of Skyrim, over to Markarth. And as the description said, it is just east northeast, just below Carthwiston there, and that is where you will find the Four Skull Lookout. Now once you arrive here, you will be greeted by a group of bandits, who each needs to go ahead and take out. Luckily there's only five of them, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So as I said before, nothing too difficult, go ahead take out those bandits, and once you do, just make your way inside, at which point you'll see the two dead bodies of Oren and Igorn laying on the ground. Now when you go ahead and loot the bodies, um, looting Oren will give you the standard crusader armor set and the mace of the crusader, and looting Igorn will give you the reforged crusader armor set and the sword of the crusader so now that you have the armor what's going to happen is as soon as you equip any item of the set it's going to begin the quest line the pilgrim's path and you may be wondering why there is a quest line does it upgrade the armor at all it doesn't but as you can see here once i equipped the boots of the crusader um as you can see there your crimes have made you unfit to wield the crusader's relics Make the pilgrimage to repent your sins and once again seek the favour of the gods. And so once I got that message, I wasn't really too sure what it meant. Because it wasn't really too clear with what the debuff was. But I very quickly came to find out that it actually um, meant there was a huge drain to your stamina when you wear the armour. So now I'm actually just going to go over the stats for some of the pieces of the set. So as you can see here for the boots of the crusader. Restoration spells cost 8% less to cast. For the Curious, there is a 10% armor bonus and a 10% reduced damage from undead while wearing the armor. Um, the full set of armor, that is. And also, it increases your health by 10 points, and Restoration spells cost 8% less to cast. For the Gauntlets of the Crusader, once again, Restoration spells cost 8% less to cast, plus there's a resistance to disease by 50%. For the Helm of the Crusader, Illusion spells cost 10% less to cast. Once again, Restoration spells cost 8% less to cast, and prices are 8% better. And then the shield here is really nice, as it will actually project a ward spell that will protect you from any spells up to 40 points. And finally, for the Mace of the Crusader here, it will burn targets for 15 points, and any targets that are on fire will take extra damage. Now, I believe the actual burn does scale with level so for example mine only being 15 here probably because i'm playing on a low level character but i have actually seen it burn for higher points of damage with players who are playing as a higher level character so as you can see here for the reforged armor of the crusader it's actually the, exactly the same in terms of enchantments however it's just light armor and so obviously you've got a little bit less protection one thing that is very nice though, is that there's actually a fastened shield for the reforged armor, and so you can actually equip this anytime on top of your normal armor, because it kind of acts as like shoulder protection, um, where obviously there isn't usually shoulder protection armor. So you can actually go ahead and equip this for the extra armor, plus have a normal shield as well that you can actually block with. So now moving on to the quest line, the Pilgrim's Path, 
Um, obviously you don't have to complete this, but if you do, it will allow you to use the armor to its full potential without that stamina debuff. So as you can see at the top there, it says, I have committed acts that have made me unfit to wear the Crusader's relics. I will need to make a pilgrimage to nine shrines in order to repent. And as you can see for the actual quest, it is literally just pray at nine shrines. Now unfortunately it's not actually as simple as it sounds because, you know, a logical person would think, okay, I need to pray at these nine shrines, I'll head to the Temple of the Divines in solitude. But actually, you'll find that if you go here and activate the nine different shrines, it will not give progress towards the quest line. So the first shrine we're going to be praying at is actually just going to be right next to the four skull lookout where you found the armor. The next shrine can be found here, just south of Old Horlden. The next shrine we're going to go to can be found just east of Lund's Hut. The next shrine can be found northeast of the Brood Cavern. The next shrine can be found here, just northwest of Volrude. The next shrine can be found here, just above the Tumble Arch Pass. The next shrine can be found here, just south of Winterhold, at the Wayward Pass. The next shrine is here, just east of the Lakeview Manor. And then finally, the last shrine is here, down in the very, very southeast of the map, at Stendhal's Beacon. And there you have it, that is how you complete the Pilgrim's Path questline. 
So there you have it. And as you can see here, I've actually matched the armor set with the weapon Chrysomir, which is the sword I made my last video on. So if you want to find out how to go and actually get this sword, then go ahead and check that video out. But really, I do think this armor is a very, very cool looking armor set. Um, and I think the quest is actually quite fun as well, which, I don't know, it seems like a lot of quests like this, where it's kind of just go to this point and activate a beacon. Um, on the surface, don't really seem too fun, but I enjoyed my time doing it. Um, and I really do think the armor set looks really cool as well. I definitely think it's worth picking up. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video or find it useful at all, please do remember to leave a like and leave a comment letting me know any Skyrim videos you would like me to make. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching.